Hello dear students, in the last period we have defined the rate of reaction. According to that definition, suppose the reaction is A plus B that gives C plus D, we can write that the rate of reaction is equal to minus DA by DT is equal to minus DB by DT is equal to DC by DT is equal to DD by DT where dA by dt is the change in the concentration of A with time, dB by dt is the change in concentration of B with time, dC by dt is the change in concentration of C with time and dD by dt is the change in concentration of D with time. Here square bracket represents the concentration and d by dt means the um, d by dt means we are understanding or we are learning the change with reference to time. Negative sign before the reactants A and B shows that their concentration is decreases. You can see here that for the terms of A and B we have put a minus sign. That means their, their reaction, the, they are reactants and their concentration decreases with the time. So we can write that dA by dt is equal to A final minus A initial by dt that is T final minus T initial. Remember here that A final minus A initial is less than 0. Same way we have dB by dt that is B final minus B initial divided by T final minus T initial. B final minus B initial is less than 0. DC by DT is equal to C final minus C initial and T final minus T initial. Remember that C final minus C initial is greater than 0. And DD by DT is equal to D final minus D initial divided by T final minus T initial. That is D final minus D initial is greater than 0. Here F represents the final state and I represents the initial condition or initial state. Now instead of a, B that gives C plus T, we represent the reaction as a reactant gives us products. So we can write that, that the rate of reaction is equal to minus dr by dt is equal to dp by dt. Minus dr by dt we put minus because the concentration decreases and here we do not put minus because concentration increases with time. We can even say that rate of reaction is the disappearance of the reactants with reference to time or production of products with reference to time. Up till now we have we, we have taken we have taken one mole for all the reactants and products. But now we are going to change and we are going to study the reaction where the number of moles are greater than 1 or, or not 1. Let us say it is not 1. So here we, we will write the reaction A mole of A plus B mole of B that gives C mole of C and D mole of D and there is an equilibrium established where A, B, C and like small a, small b, small c and small d are called the stoichiometric coefficients of the reactants a, b and product c, d respectively. So now if we want to write the rate of reaction, we will write it in this way. Rate of reaction is equal to minus 1 upon a dA by dt is equal to minus 1 upon b dB by dt is equal to minus uh, is not minus here because they are the products is equal to 1 upon c into dc by dt and 1 upon d into dd by dt. So this is how we uh, write it and then we, uh, we, we need to understand here that dt is equal to t final minus t initial. If it is less than 10 to the power minus 6 second then this rate is known as the instantaneous rate of reaction. That is what we need to keep in our mind. That is what we need to remember with us. So now uh, we, we will consider it as a rate of reaction mathematically is equal to limit of t tends to 0 delta r by delta t is equal to dr by dt. Here actually we understand the instantaneous rate of reaction.
so here we should write here instantaneous that means this time is very small and it is 10 to the power minus so if you write delta that means it's a big change and if you write small d it, it, it simply represents the small change now remember that rate of reaction suppose rate of reaction is z for a particular reaction so what we can write minus da by minus 1 upon a da by dt is equal to minus 1 upon b db by dt is equal to z and same way 1 upon c into dc by dt is, and is equal to 1 upon d into dd by dt is also equal to z therefore minus da by dt is equal to a into z minus db by dt is equal to b into z dc by dt is equal to z into c dt by dt is equal to d into z so this is even one of the way by which we can calculate the rate of reaction now how to calculate the rate of reaction or average rate of reaction using graph or how to calculate them graphically so first of all we should understand that for the reaction reactant gives us products rate of disappearance of reactant r is decrease in the concentration of r divided by time taken that is equal to minus delta r by delta t here my dear students we we will study the graph we have drawn the graph of concentration of reactant versus the time now we'll we'll look at the condition that this is this is nothing but your r0 this r0 is actually the uh, initial rate of reaction then the as they are the reactants so the concentration slowly decreases and it turns r1 then the concentration again decreases it turns r2 then we will consider here this is the point where we will calculate the instantaneous rate of reaction and then as we know that as the time passes the uh, the concentration decreases one by one or slowly so when we have time t1 we have concentration r1 when we have time t2 we have concentration r2 and when time t we have concentration where we find the instantaneous rate so we can write here for uh, for average rate of reaction r is your delta r by delta t that is minus r2 minus r1 divided by t2 minus t1 that is also is equal to minus slope then we have uh, instantaneous rate of reaction that is minus dr by dt that is equal to minus slope or that is equal to your tan theta because here we draw the tangent here so how do we find the instantaneous rate of reaction to find out the instantaneous rate of reaction at a particular point we draw a tangent and then we take the equi equal distance both the side left side and right side and then we find out dr then we find out this is dt and then we write dr by dt and we get the uh, rate instantaneous rate of reaction thank you my dear students